Hello everyone, my name is Matt B, and welcome back to more West of Loathing. Today we're gonna, uh, continue doing something. Yes. Something. Where haven't I been? Alright, Lazy A Dude Ranch in the Scary Circus. Is there anything down here I haven't been to? Nope. Open up the railroad camp over there, perfect. Lazy A Dude Ranch, let's do it. I'm a dude. Uh, with a shout, one more of a loud hiss. A skeleton leaps at you from the underbush. He's wearing a cavalry hat and has a cavalry saber, but isn't riding a cavalry horse, which I'm pretty sure is the main thing that differentiates cavalry from infantry, if not the only thing. Get directions to his fort. I sure am glad to see you. I've been wandering around the Lost Hero forever. Which way is the fort? I've got an important delivery to make. Hiss? What am I delivering? Uh, cannonballs. Hiss! No, no, of course you can't see them. I can't carry regular old cannonballs around horseback. They're heavy. Here, look. Uh, find a peppercorns that over from lunch. They're dehydrated cannibals. Much easier to transport. We need to blow somebody up. Just add water. Anyway, which way to the fort? Skeleton looks dubious once you have the trail on you. <laughs> Thanks. What a nice guy. All right. Ooh, yes, more needles. Okay. Ooh, let's kick it open. Ooh, a lock, a length of rope, and a ranch punch. Hmm. Lock. I wonder what I can do with lock. Oh, uh, hi. Hey, like, howdy. I'm selling herbal remedies. Care to buy? What kind of herbal remedies? The kind that are gifted to us by Gaia without any interference by human hands. So, weeds? <laughs> That's a derogatory term created by the man, but yeah, basically. Hey, Groovy, thanks. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Great. Oh, sweet. Look at this guy's hat. Howdy. Hey, yeah, howdy, man, what's happening? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Oh, not much, man. We moved onto this little patch of land to grow crops, but then we decided it's more natural to just let Gaia grow whatever she wants, right? I bet that's a lot easier, too. Haha, <laughs> right on, man. Neat. Where'd you get that hat? Oh, this a friend of mine made it, man. Oh, I forget which one. What do you take for it? Well, I've been thinking of trying a new style, man. Maybe one of those hats the army guys used to wear back in the day. Like, as kind of an ironic statement, man. There's an old photo over yonder that way. I'll swap you if you could find one of those, man. Okay, I'll check it out. Groovy, man. Oh, you don't seem too happy. Howdy, I'm Fozzie. I'm Louise. Louise Lathrop. Why the long face, Louise? Aw, oh, jeez. Basically, I'm stuck here farming with a couple of dummies don't know how to farm a dang thing, so they just let the weeds grow and call it natural. I'm so sick of eating dandelions, I could scream. Why don't you leave? I haven't got any meat or any other prospects or anywhere to go. I mean, dandelions are terrible, but they're better than eating dirt. This is such a mess. How'd you get in this predicament? I headed west after graduating baking school and fell at these guys because they talked a big game about natural grains. Fool that I was, I didn't realize they were really interested. Uh, I didn't read that right. Loco weed. Uh. <laughs> yes, desperately. You want baking? Hire a baker. Oh. Okay. I think maybe I can find someone who knows how to hire a baker. Maybe the hot dog. Or just someone back. Uh, ooh. There's still the, the mess at the abandoned pickle factory that I that I decided not to go through, go to. So let's go. A liquor cabinet in the woods. I don't really want it. I don't want no liquor cabinet. It looks like you found the circus where the clowns are talking about. Ugh, a circus. That's like a clown hive. Fortunately, it's not a very big circus. There probably aren't very many clowns. Certainly not enough for an army or invasion force or anything. Still, turns out demonic clowns are a real thing. Any number of them could be real trouble. You walk up nonchalantly as possible so the clown manning, clowning, the ticket booth won't suspect you know his horrible secret. Whistle innocently. I have a ticket. Hello. Welcome to Barnaby Bob's perfectly normal traveling circus sideshow, sir. How can I help you? I'd like to see the circus, please. Well, you came to the right place, then. <laughs> if you want to get designed, you need a ticket. I just so happen to have one. The clown looks very surprised. What? How did you... Well, great. Good for you, sir. I'll take that and stamp your hand for re-entry. There we go. Enjoy the show. What about my partner? Partner's getting free. Thanks. All right. Let's enter the circus. You walk into the circus. Actually, I guess it's more of a carnival, but let's not split hairs. As nonchalantly as possible. That's important. There are a bunch of clowns around, working at the booths and so on. More clowns than customers, of which there don't seem to be more than a dozen or so. Which is good, in that it means the clowns can't disappear... 
can't disappear you as easily if they figure out what you know. Yes. But on the other hand, if things go wrong here, innocent bystanders might get caught in the crosshair. Got it. Read the sign. Condemned. Oh. He's so happy. Selling tickets to a sideshow. Howdy, fella. Can I interest you in the wondrous and mysterious delights of the sideshow? Mm, what all do you have in there? Secrets, mysteries, things too weird and disturbing to be witnessed by the light of day. Freaks? Not just freaks. Gosh. How much does it cost? For you, 300 meat. And for everyone else, 300 meat. No, thanks. I don't know if I want to see the sideshow. Hot food, cold drinks, tepid candy, and blue man. I want some tepid candy. But the clown blows his slide whistle again as you approach. Woo eat! Step right up, fella. Step up and try one of the world's newest candy sensations. What is it? Cotton candy, the finest in several senses of the word. Sponge sugar created through a revolutionary new process. It's so light and sweet and fluffy, it's like eating butterfly dreams and kitten wishes. Woo eat! How much does it cost? Three is 300 meat. Woo eat! Everything costs 300 meat. I'm not made of meat, despite the fact that I have 300, uh, th uh, that much. And yes, I may be made of meat, but that's beside the point. Extreme muscular clown. Uh, yeah, I see those bulging muscles. They're, they're everywhere. Hello. The, s the stage show ain't till later. When? Later. Yeah, but when exactly? Later. Okay, jeez. Test your aim. Well now, fella, I have to think I know a customer with a sharp eye and a quick hand when I see one. How would you like to test your skills against game dexterity? What's the game? Well, the wall behind me, I've got a bunch of thick skin underflated balloons for 10 meat. I'll loan you a cheap and accurate pistol and a pile of badly made ammunition. Your goal is to pop as many of those balloons as you can before the pistol stops working. That's an unusually honest sounding description. I've discovered making the challenge sound exactly as difficult as... What's the prize? A ticket to Barney Bob's Station, Show, which otherwise sold out a rare cash, my friend. Okay. Uh, shoot like a jaguar. <laughs> You're not exactly sure how a jaguar shoots, but presumably it's pretty good. You clear the nearly the entire wall of balloons, and the clown looks genuinely impressed. Well, I'll be. Looks like you win. Congratulations on the finding shooting I've seen in quite a time. Circus show ticket. The show will be starting soon. Don't miss it. Test your mind. Test your might. Oh, I see. What's the game? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Hit quite hard. Oh, a small plush bear. Well, no, that was very close. Not quite. I should have probably read, like, is he just gonna... Uh, that okay. A small plush teddy bear. It goes in my offhand for melee attack damage. Great. I don't think I have much mysticality, but I'll do this anyway. What's the game? Simplest guessing game imaginable. Whatever. Uh, give it a lot. <laughs> okay. I am not brain enough. <laughs> yeah, he's really, he's really selling this. Oh, look at this! Do it, you know you want to! Yeah! Test your aim! <sighs> if more carnival, if more carnies act that way, I definitely would. Alright, let's get out of here, horse -colator. I'm a bit concerned to go back to the abandoned pickle factory, because stuff was getting downright nasty there. I mean, I am stronger than I was when I was last there, but also it's scary, so let's go. The dusty wooden crate lying near the trail turns to be half full, more dynamite. Great, I'll take it. Maybe he used dynamite against them, that might be. I don't usually use items. Oh, whoops, <laughs> this is not the right place. My mistake. It was, was it the, I think it was the millinery, perhaps. Uh, skeleton, muck, garbage, uh, garbage juice, great. Uh, yeah, let's fight it. <laughs> oh man, he's got a plant. Uh, smack him! Oh, the thigh bone! Oh, the tough bullet! Ooh, a snake whip, level three. Ooh, plus 15 bonus for animals. Weird, didn't know that was a thing. How about that? All right. Nope, this wasn't it either. Gosh dang it, what was the place? Uh, destroyed campsite. Dynamite Dan's. Oh, Danny's Tannery. That was it. 
Probably. <laughs> I don't know. I've been wrong twice now, but I think this is the place. Yeah, this is it. Ooh, this is so scary. Uh... When they see you, the clowns and cows stop hissing and mooing and posturing at each other. Hey, who the heck are you? Uh, Candygram? Moo! Uh-oh. Now's our chance. Get them! Uh-oh. There's so many! I can't take them. I'm scared. Get me out of here. Susie, help me. Ah! Let's just go to the map. Uh-oh. I'm gonna look for any opportunities for the baker in Dirtwater. Hello. Do you have need of a baker? Hey, Lloyd. Need help with anything? Okay. Never mind. Let's see, poker room. This dude. Oh. So I, oh, I guess I give him a helmet. Uh, his eyes let up. Well, one of them does. The other's kind of stuck in perpetual squint. Does this belong to you? He takes the helmet from you. It takes a moment to find his voice. It does. Long time ago. I, I don't suppose there was anything else where you found that. You mean this? Bottle of Laudanum? Yeah, that's the stuff. Could... Could I? Sure. He cracks open the bottle and drinks deeply. After a few moments, his demeanor changes entirely. He looks like a man 20 years younger. Would you like to hear my story? Yes. Ellsbury tells you a tale of a doll maker who suddenly awakens in a mysterious underwater castle inhabited by feral dogs. Something about that story, you really lost yourself in it. Thank you, Ellsbury. If you ever want to express your gratitude in a more tangible way, you know the trick. Uh, well, I fixed it, though. Medicine. Oh, I guess the, the laudadoom. Hey, do you guys need a baker? Uh, okay then. Hey. 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 Who needs a baker? I've got a baker for you. She went to school. Uh, any mail for, oh. But it's so exciting when I get mail. J O. oh right, hello. The Gherkin Brothers, let's go get them. Uh, the pick, oh. It's the Gherkin Brothers, and please, I don't want to talk about it. It was really weird. I believe you. Here's the reward. Ooh, man, that vanilla Coke. Looks like things are still twitching. Better lock them up just to be safe. Thanks a bundle. I want to see them. <laughs> well, sorry, guys. I was kind of hoping they'd be set free after the uh, the pickle torture. You ever clean up the area? I'm plumb out of bounties for you. Is that how we get to sheriff? No, but you could be Marshal if you want. What a coincidence. That's my middle name. Thanks again for your help, Marshal. No problem. Hello. Uh, buy something. No. I want to get Baker. Baker lot for Baker. There's so many vacant lots. And there's... Uh, not a lot available past this point. Ha ha ha. Okay, to the new railroad camp. Cross over the mountains, horse. Yeah. Let's see what else is new over here. All right, Susie, how's it going? There's some cacti. Ow. A sleeping man. And the guy stopped messing with his watch and started eating jelly beans. Nope. Please. No, get your own. Where'd you get him? Uh, Roy's Beans House of Justice and Jelly Beans. What a good spot. Still whistling. Okay. Howdy, boss. Howdy, Smee. Stuck again? Yep. Got ourselves one heck of a cannon to get across. No materials for bridge building. Any ideas? There's an old mine up there, up near or, called Breadwood. They opened a lumber camp after the mines dried up. If you can fix a deal with them for lumber we need, I can handle the engineering side of things. All right. Got more things to do. I lose five meat. But the big cannon sure is big. No, I wouldn't. All right, so let's to Breadwood. Oh, Breadwood, Baker, oh, Ghostwood. Uh, keep going. Maybe there will be a job for the Baker and Breadwood. Uh, hello. Susie, this is a ranch of the way they call Alexandria. Um, okay. Breadwood, I've heard of this place. You guys, yeah, okay. Hello, Breadwood Mayor. Howdy, Mayor. I'm Fozzy Grumpor, here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railway Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut a deal with you for the lumber. All right, I believe we can scrape together that much wood. What sort of down payment are you offering? Oh, uh, I sort of expected you to just bill us. What, that much lumber with no payment up front? Are you serious? I could probably offer you free train rides. I do enjoy a nice train ride, but that deal would be a real problem. I've already got seven problems to worry about. 
Oh. Maybe I can help. Oh, thank you. I'd certainly welcome any assistance you can offer. The problem is bored. Uh. uh the missing mail. Last batch of mail never got here. Go to original in the bunkhouse. Okay. Get out of here. The buttery biscuit. Uh. Let's see. Well, well, looks like some sor some poor son of a biscuit wandered into town. Howdy, cake sucker. Wow, geez, rude and baffling. Get used to it. We lack our custom here in Breadwood. Sure, fine, but cake sucker? We also lack our bread and bread-related products. So I've noticed. Do I get to choose? No. Well, thanks. <laughs> Don't be this guy. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Probably dangerous to interrupt that. It's two old friends. These two are pointing their guns. It's playing with the Pharaoh, but I, but I wouldn't say we're playing. I say we did play until this cowpoke ran out of money. Man in white hat grumbles. How does it work? Bet 50 meat, and then you name as many Pharaohs as you can. <laughs> He's real bad at it. Tootin' Common. Everyone knows that one. Uh, Murnum Krauser. How about Jeremamkari? Ah. Uh, I'm. S <laughs> J Jospopor Jimhotep. That's all I got. Team was close, get lost. Oh. Blank postcard. Oh, I'll do that. Got a crowbar. Desert eating and drinking. Ooh, foraging! Yes. Modern snake alert. Yes. Uh, monkey wrench. Yes. The wet boots. Okay. I already have rope. I might as well get more rope, though. You never know when you need lots of rope. Cool. So, I got a new snake skill. What do I got? Big spleen. Quick on the draw. And, f ooh, fan hammer. Give me that fan hammer. Yes. Okay, and desert eating and drinking. Yeah, now I can forage. Squeeze the book into book juice. Turns out that's not a real thing. Well, darn. All right. I owe you one piano. Uh, excuse me. There's a spittoon here, you say. Mom and... <laughs> well, here we go again. Look, this isn't Mom and, Top Mom and Pop's family fun time saloon. This is a dive bar in a dive town. People who drink in here are mainly drifters and desperados. Don't go splashing around the little scum of the scum of the earth. I'm gonna. Seriously, don't. This is wrong and disgusting. It is vile behavior. I have my face right up to the thing. What does it look like? No, I'm not telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to skip lunch today because I couldn't stop thinking about you and these foul splatoons. I've got my hand right in there, splashing around. La 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 la, I'm not listening, you find nothing, you are the worst person in the world. Ha, I found something, alright. Like a necrotic skin disorder, I bet. Actually, it's a pair of boots. So there, Mr. Delicate Stomach. Boots, great. Boots full of bandit spit. I hope they have to invent a whole new kind of trench foot just for you. I hope they name it after you. Spit-soaked boots. You're just jealous of my sweet new boots. He is just jealous. Ooh, that gives Moxie, but this gives more AP. Let's see. I'll, I'll keep the ones I have for now. But I will uh, be aware that those is a thing. Those boots is a thing. Wash up. Oh, yeah. Flush the toilet. Huzzah! Hello. Howdy, are you Reginald? Who the focaccia are you? My name is Fozzie Grumpor. The mayor's got me investigating some missing mail and said you could give me a line where I'd start looking. Oh, yeah, all right. I gave up being a mailman a couple years ago, but I doubt they've changed the system much. All the mail headed here used to go uh, through a way station just southwest of here. Mark it on your map. Thanks. And who are you? I'm Hobart Buppert. You're what? Oh, I mean, hi, Hobart. I'm Fozzie Grumpor. You seem like a traveling sort. Mind doing a fellow a favor? What's the favor? Thing is, my only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. That's quite a dream. I've heard they got one at the Petting Cemetery, but the what? Petting Cemetery. Is that what it sounds like? Exactly what it sounds like. But see, I ain't got the meat for it. Went alone? Nah, I got no prospects paying it back. But I got a camera and I figured if he went to the cemetery, he could take a picture of the owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Sure, I'll do that. An owl camera. <laughs> okay, owl will be back. <laughs> no! Lock picking too! I want to pick locks, but twice as good. Uh, look at these things. I can't forge those. Uh, oops. Ah, uh, oops. Ah, uh, oops again. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, so forge in there. How do I level these up? Do I need, like... Because I feel like the horn swoggling just went up with levels, but the lockpick and expertise has not. And I feel like the dickering went up with levels, too. Hmm. Shut up, drunk horse. <laughs> All is not well with this well. All right, horse galator. Let's go to the petting cemetery. You see what you take to be an oasis in the boiling heat of this region and spur Horse Glader towards it. As you near it, you discover you've been fooled. It wasn't an oasis at all, but an evil towering black stone cow monolith. Anybody can make that mistake, really. Attack it! Ooh, look at that. Uh, well, it still does more damage, even if you can't get stenched. Whoppa! Ow. Ow. Wah! Susie, are you more powerful? Yes! Susie! Susie! You're amazing! Oh, hello. How about a ranch in this area? Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, howdy, welcome to Gorman Lancaster's one and only petting cemetery. It's educational and entertational. Entertational, and only 500 meat for a lifetime past. Past? Look, don't knock the patter, okay? That's right, a wide variety of guaranteed genuine animal skeletons. You're free to touch them with your heart's content. Well, with your hands, that is. No writing. Can I feed them? You could try. Neat. That's exorbitant. It's a lifetime membership. If you were younger, it'd be worth more. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, eek. Oh. Ah, oh, fine. Let me in. Jerk. Okay. This looks like an owl. Oof. Here's a dog skeleton. Oh. Increase your range damage. Hawk skeleton. Is that a turtle skeleton? Your armor. Your speed. Uh, pack rat. Okay, let's see. I think I want more range damage. The boon of the hawk. <laughs> I can only pet one animal a day. Thanks, jerk. You're missing pack rat. Yeah, some hippies stole it. Sure. Fort of Darkness. <laughs> wow. Hippies live in the, the Fort of Darkness. All right. So now I got things to do. So the Fort of Darkness is down there. But Breadwood is up here. Wait, no. I'm getting mixed up. Yeah, Breadwood. The guy in Breadwood wanted a picture of the owl skeleton. There's... Uh oh, hello. A goblin is wandering along the path, muttering and ranting lo out loud to itself. Why not you cramming an entire baguette up your icing funnel? Wow, what? Go marrying a bagel, bagel muffin chucker. Where where you did learning a talking like that? Finding a guide to human cusses, cake sucker. The goblin shows you a pamphlet listing a variety of popular profanity. On the back it says, brought to you by the Breadwood Board of Tourism. Teach him some fake swears. <laughs> These are weak swearings. Give me that pamphlet. I am teaching you better ones. Oh, okay. Let's see, you teach the goblin a number of phrases like charming gentleman and have a pleasant afternoon. <laughs> he doesn't suspect a thing, and next human meets will have a much more polite, if puzzling, encounter. Ooh, Bredo cheat sheet. Goes my off hand. Nice. Okay. So now I gotta go over here to the bunkhouse. Yo, I had to pay 500 meat, but I got your stupid owl skeleton. Here you go. Oh, great. Well, you look at that. What a beaut. Well, thank you, Fozzy. But I managed to get some experience points out of it. Sure did. Thanks, bro. All right. I've got time to do other things. You can't tell me what not, Susie. You can't tell me what not. To the Fort of Darkness. Those darn hippies of darkness. Depressed rancher candy and another lock. What do I do with these locks? I do not know. All right. Ooh, what's this? Patch of loco weed. Okay. Howdy. Oh. <laughs> a young lady is dressed in fancy, expensive traveling clothes, though hard wear has made them dirty and ragged. Also, her pupils are about the size of teacups. Wow. Hi. A new face. My name's, uh, one sec. Irene. She. <laughs> Everyone here just calls me mushrooms, so I forget sometimes. Howdy, Irene. I'm Fozzie. What's your story? Oh, not much to tell. I was hitchhiking to Frisco a few months back, but I stopped here and never got around to continuing, you know. 
We're like a big family here, and everyone's so nice and appreciative how I know so much about mushrooms. Mushrooms? Uh-huh. They're good for all kinds of things. If you know which ones to pick, if you want, I can sell you a few of my favorites. I have a spare pair of mushroom pliers, too, if you want to pick your own. Okay, cool. Don't I already have the pliers? Nope. See you later. Uh, I got a monkey wrench. No pliers, though. Sure, I'll take the pliers. The pliers. The pliers. Here you go. I should location my secret hunting cave with you, but I lost my knapsack with my map in it. I don't think I can explain how to get there in, like, words. Good luck, though. Uh, these are made by elves. Great. Yeah, man, like, little elf guys. They're hard to see, just like out of the corner of your eye, you know? But I'll be just kind of standing here and just kind of... And then I'm like, oh, hey, I got another pair of boots in my hand. Guess the elves mean we're boots. Huh. I haven't made a pair of boots myself in, I don't know, like a year? Years something. These elves keep making them, though. I don't know why. Weird. Okay. You should open up a boot store. Huh? A store to sell your boots in. They're not mine, though. They're, all right, right, right. The elves. But the elves can't be making them just for fun, right? I think they're making them so you can sell them. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a town called Dirtwater. It's a pretty long trip. <laughs> but, like, it'd be dangerous. I'd be worried the elves wouldn't make it, you know? Darn. I have to think of a way for the elves to make it. Just let me... All right, fine. I'm out of here. Gosh darn hippies. <laughs> Give me bones. Teeth, teeth, clavicle, femur, teeth. Wow, okay. Uh, Here's some bones. A bone sword? That's awesome. You hand her an armload of bones. She starts mechanically picking through them, selecting some, discarding others. On, based on criteria, you can't discern. Eventually, having chosen the first two from the pile, she secures them together with wires and screws and hands. You use something that looks like a sword. Neat, thanks. Here's some skull chips. Bone chip ring. Have more random excavators with skeletons. All right. Uh, she stops muttering, rising to focus a little, and takes some glue out of her toolbox and presses the chips into a ring. Nice, thank you. Here's some gold teeth. Gold tooth tiara. Ooh, moxie. She blinks at the gold teeth you handed her and takes a spool of wire out of her toolbox. She soon presents you with an elaborate tiara. Not enough, she mutters sadly. Not nearly enough. Can I give you more? All right, bye. Whoa, you're crazy. Salutations, Fozzie. They call me the talking dude because of my extensive knowledge in principles of philosophy and the arguments and conundrums surrounding its various aspects and interpretations. I bet that's not why they call you that. Can I interest you in discussion of the particulars of curtsy and philosophy, Fozzie? Sure, why not? Talk to you begins and you immediately tune out. Blah, blah, blah. On the other hand, blah, blah, blah. I see. Blah, blah, blah. Dispositional and a current belief. Blah, blah, blah. Narrow your eyes. Your posture alone is enough to keep him talking. Blah, 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 blah. Well, what is reality, really? Blah, blah. Aha. Uh -huh. Blah, blah. Determinism, blah, 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 blah. Faint interest. You keep him talking with the subtlest of body language. Blah, blah. The deontology of it. Blah, 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 blah. Necessary and sufficient condition. Blah, blah, blah. Fascinating. Necessary and sufficient condition. Blah, blah. Try not to yawn. But on the other. A tautology. <gasps> Acknowledges your interest in barrels onward. <gasps> A tautology. Phenomena, phenomenological reduction. <laughs> I can read that. Cartesian dualism, blah, blah, as opposed to blah, try not to yawn. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. So, do I just, like, have more mystic? Yes! I am so mystical! Alright. Well, that was fun. Oh, she, she beatboxing? Who's this crazy dude? Uh, hello, yes, hello, mm, yes, mm, I'm Todd. Fozzy, pleased to meet you. So, uh, what do you do around here, Todd? I am a chemist. I've been researching the properties of some of the local mushrooms. Probably like, what? Like how they told you, I get you totally right. <laughs> right. I'm kidding. They actually have a lot of interesting properties that could be a real boon to medicine. They may even hold a solution to many psychological disorders. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. The fact that they also get you absolutely smashed is just a happy side effect. Ha ha ha, whoa! I see. If you have any lactarious, dirty hippica mushrooms, I can fry them to a more potent potable, i.e. a potion. Hee <laughs> hee! Hello, beatboxing. This woman is rocking back and forth, making perped, perped sounds as she rapidly flaps her lips with her fingers. Er, hi. Hi, perped, perped. Ooh, a jaw harp. What's this? It's kind of a musical instrument. You bite the narrow part, and then it will basically just do what you've been doing. 
If you experiment multiple twangs and boings, then she lets out a sweet riff. Wow, this thing is like a revelation. Thanks, I feel like maybe I should take this show on the road. Try the jewel suit in dirt water. Sounds good to me. Sweet. Now they have a bard. Okay, uh... That was fun. Ooh, guns. I don't have safe Kraken. Artillery saber. Oh. Interesting. Silver bullet. Check it out. Military cemetery. Take the simple loaded cannon. Cannon loaded for idiots. I am an idiot. Great. <laughs> Read it. So we meant to insult your tells you though you almost nothing about loading cannons. <laughs> Alright. But I still have a cannonball somewhere, don't I? Like, I picked one up. Yeah. So big. It's 10 centimeters. <laughs> okay, so I got St. Beef's thigh, which is great. But this bone sword is amazing. I mean, look at it. St. Beef's guy gives blah, 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 more muscle and health. But the bone sword, I have to. I have to. It's so cool. Okay. And that seems to be it here. I totally forgot. What? Nope. 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 Get out of there. Totally forgot what I was looking for in here. Uh, post mail? Some no. This was something. I'll figure it out. Uh, flowers. What do I have to say about the Susie? All right, horse collator. Let's try and figure out where the oh the petting cemetery. If you want me to go there for something. Crowbar! Great. Ooh. So much stuff. Now running out of time. I mean, going. Uh, pack rat skeleton. Okay. Uh, missing buffalo. Uh, find me enough buffalo bones for only 50. Okay, I'll see what I can do. List of buffalo bones. Buffalo pile. Okay. Nope. Nope. Missing ape. Yeah, that ridiculous fool Kellogg stole it for an anatomy lesson. Uh, human anatomy. <laughs> Alright. There's plenty of actual human skeletons out desert for free. Wouldn't you hear it though? Sure. Alright. Okay, so I gotta stop this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you like the videos I've been creating, then I greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Catch you later.